see. Let's see something. All right. What's up, y'all? There we go. What's up, y'all? Hey. Welcome to day two of the product tour. Hey, hey, hey. Let me know if y'all join in from, hey, pumpkin, hey, girly. What's tea? I'm telling you. Hey, sis, hey. Okay, so let me know if y'all are joining again from yesterday. So just put day two. Day two in the comments, in the caption, whatever, in the chat. Put day two if you were with me yesterday and you're back with me again today. Put day two. So you mentioned giveaways yesterday. We getting stuff today? Maybe. So put day two if you was with me yesterday. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay, day two, day two. I got quite a few day two. What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, IG? Thank you. What's up, Facebook? Hey, y'all. And if you new here on Instagram, know that Instagram cuts off at one hour. And um, join YouTube. Go on YouTube. Type in Sunny Brooks. So it's day two. I'm going to put a comment in. How is y'all day going? Today is Wednesday. It's an amazing day. Hey, love. Day two. Okay, I got my YouTube fam. I got my Instagram fam. Um, okay. What was I going to ask y'all? Y'all made me forget. Okay, y'all tell me where y'all at. Put, that's, that's a good start. Tell me where y'all at while a few people come in. I'm going to give them two minutes to come in. But y'all tell me where y'all at. I'm in Miami, Florida. Born and raised in the county of Dade. Okay? If y'all know anything about Trick Daddy, y'all know. Uh-oh. Let's see. Duval, Florida. Where in Florida? Where at in Florida? I am about to put a thing. Let's see. Port St. Lucie, New Jersey, Kansas. Okay, here we go. New York, Miami, Tennessee. You in Miami? Okay. Hey, Hollandale. Okay, y'all right back in the neck in my neck of woods. Let's see. We got. Boogie Down, Bronx, Ohio, Greenville, New York City. Okay, we all over the globe. We are over the globe. Okay. So, day one, for y'all who may have not been with us on day one, day one, we talked about all of the different products that Sofa Vibes co carry and why they're good to have, the benefits, and all of that good stuff, right? Today, <coughs> excuse me. Today, however, we're talking about how to use these products. So if you do, uh, Douglasville. Hey, I used to live in Douglasville. That's in Georgia. But anyways, uh, what was I going to say? Day two is how to use this product. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what this product is good for. Sunny, I know you said this is how to use it, but what is good for? Go back and watch the replay from yesterday. Day one talks all about the products and their benefits. Day two is going to talk about how to use the products. And day three, which is tomorrow at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, um, PM that is, we're going to answer all the questions that you all may have. So with that being said, please refrain from saying, Sonny, what is that product good for? What are the benefits of that product? Especially when you can answer your own dang question by going to watch a replay. 
Where is the replay available? It is available on the YouTube channel. You can type in Sunny Brooks, S-U-N-N-Y-B-R-O-O-K-S. The replay is there. It is on Instagram, maybe for another hour, another hour or so. I know it's going to delete because it's only there for 24 hours. And you can go to our Facebook page and type in Soulful Vibes Co., just how you find it on Instagram, Soulful Vibes Co., and you will um, be able to see our page. And if you click on our page and scroll through our post, you will see the video there. So two options for replays after 24 hours. YouTube, Sunny Brooks, Facebook page, Soulful Vibes Co. Go watch day one to learn the benefits about all the different products. Today, we're talking about how to use the products. Yes, I am talking with an incense stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if we're ready to get started with day two and we're ready to talk about how to use these products because some of us may be using it incorrectly or setting a fire alarm off or burning down shit and burning holes in carpets and stuff. Um, and y'all still talk about the yoni egg. Okay, <laughs> I will talk about the yoni egg. I still have the precious yoni egg. And if y'all don't know, there is a video on our Instagram page, IGTV uploaded a video about yoni eggs so go watch it right the teacher in me does this right so um let's see i want to make sure that i'm seeing the chat in um facebook uh-oh hmm i don't see the chat however on um if y'all ready put ready Ready, 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 ready. Give me some hearts. Give me some love. Because the first thing we're going to talk about is spiritual waters. Oh, crap. I put the Florida water out there. Babe, could you bring me the Florida water, please? It's on my shelf. Ready, 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 ready. Okay. There we go. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready. Okay, y'all give me some hearts and stuff. Thank you, Florida Water. So, you love our products. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Side note, guys, let me tell y'all on a secret. This is what happened when you join live and when you come and you come chill with your girl because it's all love out here in these streets. For those who don't know who I am, y'all just think this weird ass lady popped up talking shit about crystals and stuff. I'm Sunny Brooks. I am co-owner of Soulful Vibes Co. I am all things magical, all things juju, and all things spiritual. So if you got questions, you need answers, I'm the one. I should have wrote that down. That should be my intro from now on, okay? That was cute. I got to go watch the replay so I can get the um, intro. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? My personal page, page is at I am Sunny Brooks. So you can get all of me personally over there, all of my courses, all of my good juju stuff over there. Anyways, here's a free nugget. Don't say I ain't never tell y'all nothing. On Black Friday, I am releasing some limited edition juju products. That five-week course ain't cheap. Shit, healing ain't cheap. Living in misery ain't cheap. Okay? And now you think that's not cheap? Mm. We got we to gotta refrain how we look at certain stuff, right? But anyways, because we spend $200 easily on shoes with no problem and $200 on bags with no problem. So, yeah, that ain't cheap. Um, anyways, what was I going to say? So, on Black Friday, we are, um, I make handmade products. If y'all don't know, if you have never experienced, um, Y'all on Instagram, how could I turn these comments off? YouTube behaves so, I love my YouTube fam because these people, are, they keep distracting me. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? The sprays I make handmade, right, consider it an investment. The best investment you can make in yourself is, the best investment you can make is in yourself. Return on investment within yourself is amazing. You can buy shoes and buy clothes and all that shit and you're going to get tired of it. But the investment within yourself and helping yourself and getting better is priceless. Anyways, for real though, um, the, I make the sprays, the baths, anything that's handmade, that's not jewelry, I have made and I put my own juju and intentions in it. So um, if you experience those products, you know 
that I got some good juju. If you haven't, that's okay. You will get a chance to. Because on Black Friday, I made a money roller oil and a self-love roller oil. There are only 35 of the money roller oils and only 23 of the self-love with three of the pumps. Once those sell out, that's it. Because I literally make them occasionally whenever I'm led to. And I use the moon in different days and planets and things like that to charge it. So I don't have any more of that batch. However... If you want it, make sure you get on Sofa Vibes Co. email list because that's where um, you will get the first dibs on it. It's going to sell out. So if you want first dibs, get there. And then also I'm taking suggestions, not guaranteeing, not guaranteeing anything. I am taking suggestions on what products, limited products that you guys will want me to make and put my special juju on it. Um, you can't prepay for it. Mm -mm, not doing it um but what products i'm thinking about like a spiritual bath or all white spiritual bath for cleansing I'm thinking about some other stuff so dm us let me know what y'all um want and i'm gonna see if i can make that happen for you okay i got the sniffles because it's really cold in my office so the first thing that i'm going to talk about and teach y'all how to use is spiritual waters so we're talking about florida water uh success and prosperity money drawer um love, seven African powers, attraction, all of those things. I'm talking about how to use those, right? One place um, that you can put this, right? Here's one hint. Is a diffuser. What's a diffuser? It's where you add water normally and oils and it diffuse and put all of the healing properties into the air. I love to put Florida water in my diffuser. Um, even uh, different spiritual water. So if I want the love, I will put love. No, I'm not pouring the whole thing. I am diluting it with water. So I'm putting water and in place of the oils. Of course, I'm not just putting like two drops of Florida water because it's not as concentrated as uh, essential oils. So I may put, I may pour a good amount in there, right? I'm not pouring half a bottle. I'm not even pouring a quarter of a bottle. I'm going to pour a good amount. You check, you test it because it depends on how big your diffuser um, base is. So I put some water in there and I put a little Florida water in it. I put a little success and prosperity if that's what I'm working on. Whichever one you're working on, that's what you use. Florida water is good all the time because as we know and talked about yesterday, Florida water is good for cleansing, but also bringing in positivity. It's like a really good harmony, peace, water, and it's also good for cleansing and getting rid of shit that don't serve us, right? So Florida water is good at any time. But if you're like, you know what? Today's Friday. I want to um, work on some love because Friday is ruled by Venus. We know Venus rules love. That's a whole nother topic. However, so you like, I want to work on my love stuff. I'm going to burn me some candles and I'm going to go ahead and add some of the love into the diffuser. We can do that. So diffuser is one of them. Um, you can do it after you cleanse with a stick. So if you cleanse with sage, palo santo, um, your basanto, whatever you uh, cleanse with, you can follow it up. You can do, do old school and put it on your, you know, tap it and be like this in the air or like hold, put your and sling it like that, you know, like that. You can do that. Or you can do what I love to do. And I put it, let's see. Uh oh. I put it in a spray bottle. You can do this, remember, with the spiritual waters. I'm not only referring to Florida water. I'm talking about all of the spiritual waters. So that's money, jar, anything. You put it in a, spirit, uh, in a bottle. So say if you say, I cleanse with white sage, I followed up with blue sage because I know blue sage is going to bring me some money, abundance, and prosperity. And I'm going to go ahead and put some money drawer in a spray bottle. And I'm going to go ahead and spray my house with it. Not only does it smell amazing, but it has uh, amazing effects right Ama amazing benefits so we know after cleansing you can put a drop of it in your bath i am not saying go to take florida water right i'm not saying take florida water and pour it all on your rag and do all this you maybe can but you may not it may irritate you so if you're taking a spiritual bath take a few drops put a few drops in there if you're taking a money bath put a few money drops in there if you're taking a love bath put a few drops in there um even if you are taking, um, like washing your hair, right? That's something you could do. When you uh, put a little bit of Florida water in your shampoo and wash your hair, and let me tell you how clear your mind will be, okay? 
your mind will be so clear. You're, you will just feel a relief because we're taking that cleansing property, right? And not only putting it on our head, but getting it into our scalp and cleansing, not only on a physical level, but on a vibrational and energetic level also. From that, you can also put, um, do, use it for cleaning. Love to put some Florida water in some uh, mop, mop water or um, the money, the love, whatever. Remember, whatever you're working on, that's what you can use. Put some in your mop water, mop your floor with it. It smells amazing. Okay. Add it, mix it with some of that damn Fabuloso y'all be using. Okay. I don't use Fabuloso, but I used to, right? Um, You can, you know how I know old school, put a little, they used to put Fabuloso in a pot and boil it, a pot that they don't cook with. I'm not explaining to y'all to not put Fabuloso and shit like that in the pot that you're cooked with. Anyways, like the little pot that you cleanse with, like your cleaning pot. Put a little Florida water in it, boil it with some water like you would do a diffuser. Water and oils in a pot is just like a diffuser. That's old school, though. That's old school. Diffuser is a new school thing. Um, mopping laundry, putting some dabs of it, some Florida water and some laundry, some love and some laundry, right? What? Especially like, say, if you, you about to wash some clothes that you're going to wear on Valentine's Day. Go ahead, put some little drops of love spiritual water in there. You about to wash some clothes that you about to go to the casino in. Put some little money draw drops in the laundry. These are ideas. Are y'all feeling these ideas or no? Y'all like, Sonny, you out your damn mind? Or am I giving you ideas? Let me know. Have you thought of these ideas? Have, are you using these ideas? Are these new ideas? Um, remember, I told you you could put it in a spray bottle. Also, if you're doing any workings, um, yes, whatever you do. Thank you, YouTube family. Do not drink the Florida water, the money draw. The I know you probably want money to be reaping from the inside and on the outside of you. So you're going to think, oh, let me drink it. I'm not saying you're going to die. That's not what I'm saying. Because I know there are some ancestors and some OGs back in the days that used to drink Florida water. Let me tell you, I am not advising to drink Florida water. Don't drink the Florida water. You'd be like, you know what? I'm feeling a little... I'm going I'm to drink the Florida water to cleanse my insides energetically to make a real sacrifice. And then I'm going to go ahead and drink some of that success and prosperity. If you be throwing up your entire insides, remember, Sunny said, don't drink it. OK. Um, and the last thing that I'm going to say that you can use the spiritual waters for are workings. If you do any type of workings, those who do workings know what workings mean. If you're doing any workings, any candle, um, any rituals, anything like that, any workings, you can use them based off of the workings. If you're doing love rituals, use the love spiritual water during that. What do you may use it for? A bath. You may use it to dress your candle. Right. Um, or putting putting it in a bowl as you burn the candle or, you know, things like that. I don't want to give too many um, things about workings, but you can do that. Okay. Those are some ways you can use spiritual waters. That includes the Florida water, the success, prosperity. They are kind of self-explanatory on what they're good for. The only one that may not be self-explanatory is Florida water, but it's good for cleansing. Think about Sage and Palo Santo maybe had a baby. That's what it's good for. They all smell amazing. Um, and even the other ones that we carry, um, you can use in the same way. Rose, water, that's good for love and other things, right? Um, keep a spray bottle on my desk. I shake people's hand all day. Florida water, right? And also, I love to use Florida water. Here's another hint. A Florida water to cleanse my altar. I cleanse it with water and dust and stuff, but I love to spray it down with Florida water. I use Florida water to cleanse candles before I use them. Um, I use Florida water if I am going before my altar and I want to do some sacred work. I'll put some Florida water in my hands to cleanse my hands. Those are some ideas. Okay. 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 Now we're going to move on to incense. Incense and incense holders. What's the difference between blue sage and white sage? You got to you gotta view the one from yesterday. I went all into details with it. Blue sage and white sage from yesterday. Day one. Day one of the Soulful Vibes product tour will tell you the differences between all our products. Putting in a diffuser is a great idea. And then have your house litty, okay? And if somebody that, if you see a question, let me tell you, we are a community. We are a tribe. We are in this together. If you see a question and you were here yesterday and you know the answer, not you guesstimating, but you know the answer. Please help a fellow friend out. Answer it for them. Help them out. OK, thank you, because somebody's going to answer that question for my fellow friend in 
um, on YouTube. So incense and incense holders, how to use it. Now, you know what? I'm not going to give it, I'm not going to give incense and incense holders too much just because um, it's kind of, we kind of know how to use incense. Out. But anyways, with incense, we already know we have protection, fortune, money, seven chakras, whatever. But we want to set an intention. I'm using fortune. I don't care what you do. You set an intention. I'm using fortune. You know what? Before I do this, I'm going to be like, you know what? Um, as I burn this box, I am accepting all fortune that is going to come to me. And I'm attracting all good fortune that I need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You set an intention. Once you do that, you can decide to burn it on or off an altar. I burn incense for my ancestors. My ancestors like incense. Your ancestors may not like incense. Also, I am probably on my love altar. I am probably going to burn my love incense. On my money altar, I am probably going to burn my money incense. Does it make sense? Sometimes I don't burn incense on my altar. Sometimes I may just sit them on my dresser. I may sit them on my TV stand. Okay. And how you burn it. You literally take it like this. If you never burned the incense. Okay, this is how we do it. This is what it looks like. This smells amazing. We're going to light it and we're going to hold it. And normally a flame catches and it stays there. I normally let it go, go out, but you see there is a red thing. You see the flame went out. And do we see how that's lit? Do we see how that's lit like that? That's how we know it's lit. We could take it and drop ashes all over our house, or we could put it on an incense holder, just like this, stick it in a hole. This is just a flat brown incense holder that we carry, but we have other ones. If it was the tree of life incense holder, we would just stand it up like this. This is gonna get filled with ashes. When we're done with it, what we're gonna do, we're going to toss the ashes. Toss the ashes however you like. That is up to your discretion. I'm going to put that incense out because I don't want to be having all the sniffles right now. Okay? That is how we can use incense. On or off the altar. I don't think incense are much... Um, it's not much to it, right? But to just do it. Um, but, of course, you set your intention and you use it with your work. It's kind of like the spiritual water. But, of course, you're not putting incense ashes in your laundry. But you may use the incense during certain workings. You may use the in incense ashes of the money to maybe dress your candle. Who knows? Get creative. The main thing in using any products is trusting your intuition and allowing your ancestors and yourself to guide you. Now, we're going to get to the oils. Oils, oils, oils. Oils. Right here, I have the attraction oil and a, and a protection oil. I want you right now to put those who are live, put some ideas in the comments. What do you think you can use the oil for? What do you use your oils for? And remember, if anything I say and it causes you to have any questions, if you don't know, um, do you have a particular brand that you prefer? Um, of what? Incense? I carry the brands I prefer. I, I love the Satya brand, S-A-T-Y-A, and I love him, H-E-M, him, 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 him. Those are the two brands. We carry those brands um, on our website, but there are certain, they're not brands, they are certain um, desires, right? There are different desires, right? So we have protection, fortune. I don't have a specific one. I love all of them because if i'm working on protection i'm going to use protection incense so there's no time that i just only use one but if at any time um you use um oh you you think of any questions make sure you tune in tomorrow and come with all your questions because i'm answering um all the questions these are oils in general okay someone said a diffuser that is a great way how i talked about the florida water you got your water in the diffuser put some drops in it put some drops in it that will be good. Anointing. That is correct. We can anoint ourselves with these oils. We can anoint our home. We can anoint our money. Attraction. I am putting some of that attraction oil on my dollar bills. As I'm counting my money, I got attraction on my hands and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count them. Why? Because I want that oil to be on there and I want to attract more money. Um, anointing different things. Anointing our candles. Um, 
bless my body and clothes as I go through my day. Yes. So you can put these directly on your body. I can't speak for anybody else's oils. Um, I put lavender oil in my bath, right? You can put these in H-E-M, H-E-M. It's on our website. Go to our website and um, the instant names, the, the brands are on there. You can put these in your baths, put drops of them in your bath. This is attraction. This is protection. If I am taking a money bath, I'm going to probably add some money draw oil in there and I'm going to probably put some attraction oil in there because I want to attract the money. Um, some other good ways is candle dressing. That is a really good. I see someone said that right in the bath. Correct. Candle dressing. If you're dressing candles, I may dress this candle and I want to attract love. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put some of this attraction or on there, dip it and rub it all on there and probably ro roll it in some herbs and stuff. I'm not telling you how to do anything, but this, right? Put some right on your candle, right? So candle, candle dressing. You can put it in your laundry. Also, you want to, you go to work, you work in probably a dangerous environment. You put some protection in your clothes. Like when you're washing them, you can rub it right on. Y'all know how y'all do perfume and cologne. Y'all be like, do that because they smell amazing. Do that too. So you got put it on. You can put it directly on. You got laundry. You can put it in your mop water cleaning. Same thing. Um, spiritual waters and the oils can use be used probably in the same way. If you have an oil lamp, oil lamp, put some of the oil on the oil lamp, diffusers, bath, things like that. Are we good? Are we good? Do y'all understand everything? Let me know. Give me thumbs up if you understand how to use spiritual waters, incense, incense holders, and oils so far. I want to make sure y'all know how to use them and understand um, different ways you can use them before I move on to um, the next one. I anoint my money I burn. Yes, because we have an ancestor oil. So I will use my ancestor oil after I cleanse with Florida water to like coat my... Um, coat the top of my altar and then when I right before I burn my ancestor uh, money I put a little oil on my hand and you know stuff like that so give me a thumbs up if y'all got it or YouTube I don't know if y'all can give me a thumbs up but just say got it got it I want to make sure y'all are clear on using these things before we move on all right good 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 okay so next one is jewelry. Jewelry is pretty simple. What you do when you get it, cleanse it. Cleanse it with Florida water. You can take the Florida water just like this, right? You got it in a spray bottle. If you got it in a bottle and you just spray it over there like that, cleanse it, right? You can use sage or Palo Santo. You get your Palo Santo and put over there to smoke. You cleanse it however you need to cleanse it. You set your intention, okay? This is my chakra jury, so I want all of my chakras to be aligned and balanced. I welcome all balance and peace within my life. Thank you for these chakra pieces already working in my favor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Simple like that. Set my intentions, and I wear it. I put the bracelet on. I put the necklace on. I wear it. That's it. That's how you use jewelry. You wear it. You wear it. You set your intentions, and you wear it. Other ways you may be able to want to use your jewelry. You may take, instead of wearing this necklace, you may attach this to maybe your wallet. You may attach this to um, your backpack or your purse or something, kind of like a keychain. Uh, maybe instead of wearing your bracelet, you don't want to wear it. You can't wear jewelry to work, but you can have it in your pocket, kind of how you would do crystals, right? Okay? Jewelry is kind of simple. So now we're going to talk about crystals and crystal sets. Crystals and crystal sets. Here right now, I have clear quartz, rose quartz, and um, amethyst. These are the three crystals I have. With crystals, we want to do the same thing. We want to cleanse them when we receive them. So we're using sage, incense, Florida water, whatever you're using to cleanse the crystals. After that, you want to set intentions. You say, you know what, Rosie, little Rosie, I love you so much, little Rose Quartz. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing and attracting all of the love and light into my life. But most importantly, thank you for allowing me to love myself, accept myself, and be so aware of myself that nothing or no one could stop it. Thank you for bringing love into my life, Rose Quartz. You set the intention. You set an intention with all your crystals. And then you can do a few things with the crystals. You can carry them. Just meaning like you put them in your pocket. 
and you carry them in your pocket. You can put them in your purse. You can put them in a little bag. We have little bags when we send our crystals. You can put them in that bag, keep them in the bag, keep it in your purse. Or if you're that person, you're like, hey, I'm going to put crystals in my bra. Cool. There's so many people, y'all would be surprised, walk around with crystals all in a bra. If you don't have a bra, that's fine. You can also rub crystals, especially if you have anxiety, right? And you start to feel anxious. You get that amethyst crystal and you can rub on it, right? Keep mine in my pocket. Yes. I can rub on it. Or you can place it somewhere. If, like, say this was, um, so my office, I have, um, what, let's say, if I want to have successful business and in my business place, I put my successful business crystal set and maybe my front door, right? I may place it, if my rose quartz, I may place this in my bedroom because I want all the love there, right? I may place uh, my protection crystals in a corner of my home. I may place my car protection crystal in my car so you can place it in your home, in your office, in your car, wherever you want to. And other than carrying it and placing them somewhere, you could just hold them, hold them before you meditate or while you're meditating, you can hold them and meditate like this. You could put them on your thighs as you're meditating. You can put them at the front of your yoga mat before your um before your practice, before you start doing yoga. Those are some ideas for crystals. Did I miss? Is there a way that you use your crystals that maybe I did not mention? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat so other people can see. Maybe I didn't I didn't touch on a certain one. Right? Now we're gonna do candles. We're going to do candles. Let's see. Did I touch on everything? I see. Let's see. I make crystal infused water. Yes, I forgot that one. Yes, um, I hold them during yoni steam. Yes, when you're doing your yoni steam, you can hold your um, rose quartz. Also, you can put them in your bath. You can put them in your bath. Shaman, please tune in live tomorrow at 7.30. I'm going to answer all your questions tomorrow at 7.30. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, rose quartz. You can put it in your bath. You're doing a love bath. You drop it in your bath water and take a bath with it. Um, do you touch on, did you touch on cleansing? I didn't use the cleansing sticks yet. I'm going to show you how to use it. So not yet, love. Um, and drink it throughout the day. Yes, but the infused water. Make sure you know which crystals you're using. Quartz are normally fine if infused water. Don't put selenite or blue kyanite in your water because it's going to dissolve. And you're like, damn, where my crystal went? It's gone, sis. It's gone. It dissolves because that doesn't belong in water. Um, but yes, so you can, I use them in this room. Yes, but you can take the rose quartz, put them in your water, put it in your water, make sure it's clean. You ain't just take it out the dirt, put it in your water, infuse your water. You may leave your crystal water outside to charge by the moon and then drink it throughout the day. I may lay them on my third eye when meditating. Yes, amethyst would be good to put right there when you're meditating. You can put them under your pillow, certain crystals. Um, if you're super sensitive to energy, you may not, it may disrupt your sleep. I do not advise wearing your jewelry or carrying your crystals to sleep. I do not advise that. The energy is so strong that you may not get a restful sleep. If you ever realize you went to sleep with your jewelry on and you wake up and be like, damn, I'm tired. That's because the energy was continuing to flow and you did not get a full night's rest. So I advise you to leave the jewelry maybe next to you. If you are um, need the sleep crystals or something, then those will be okay with sleeping under your bed as long as you set those. Not under your bed, but under your pillow as long as you set those intentions. Okay? All right. So we're going to talk about candles. I put my amethyst under my pillow every night. I sleep like a baby. Correct. Because amethyst is really good for helping with sleep. We're going to talk about candles. We already know that we talked, we went over yesterday, we went over affirmation candles, we went over um, blessed herbal candles, we went over chakra candles, we went over um, moon candles. Those are some candles we went over, um, and we know that those candles we can use specifically for what they're called for, right? So I'm going to probably use this protection candle for protection. I am probably going to use this luck candle for luck. That's how I will use those, right? If I want to work on protection, I will set my intentions for this and I will burn my protection candle. New moon, same thing. Those normally have themes. So you will use those similarly how you use the, um, the baths and the oils. However, taper candles are normally hard. They're like, do I just burn these? What do I do with them? Of course, with all candles, I suggest you to cleanse them first. 
Second, set your intentions. That's with anything. Cleanse everything. You don't know who energy came in contact with it from it being transported from here to you, right? Um, so cleanse them, set your intentions. After you set your intentions with these, all candles, right? You can dress them. How do you dress them? This is, I'm not giving any specifics, but how you could dress them. You could put different oils, different herbs, dif different things that um, is good for bringing in what you want to work on. For example, I might want to use this white candle, I mean, this pink candle for um, love. I'm going to burn this pink candle because I want to. I want to work on um, some some love. I want to attract some love in my life. So with this candle, I'm probably going to use some attraction oil or maybe a love oil. And I'm going to put it all over the candle. I may put some rose petals and uh, maybe some jasmine on here, right? And make it stick to it. Um, also in a bowl uh, around the candle, not on the candle, but around the candle. I'm probably going to put some of my love money, um, my love spiritual water and i'm gonna burn my spiritual my love incense i'm sorry love spiritual water around it my love incense and i'm gonna light this and i'm gonna allow it to do its work right so that's a way that you can do the candles you can dress them you can pray right i always advise white candles for meditation i always advise white candles for ancestors so you can use these candles to place on your ancestor altar you can pray with your candles, they're always, you know, people know prayer candles, right? You can light it, pray with the candle. You can, um, of course, burn them. That's simple. That's how you do it. You can do however else you want. If you have any other ideas or have any suggestions on how people could use candles, put them below. With these candles or any candles, always, can anybody guess what this is? This is something that everybody should have in their home at all times. What is this? I need y'all to guess in the chat. What is this? All right, we got it over there in YouTube. It is our candle snuffer. It is our candle snuffer. Candle snuffer. What is the candle snuffer good for? It is good for putting out our candle, snuffing the flame rather than blowing our intentions and blowing our wishes away. How do we do it? If the candle is lit right here, we take it, we take, we take the snuffer and we put it directly over it like this. We hold it for a few seconds and we lift it up. The flame should be out. Okay. You don't have a glass candle a glass jar candle which is fine completely fine you have one of these that you're burning and when you're done burning it i mean before like say i'm about to leave and i don't want to keep it on so i'm done burning it for now i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna take the snuffer and i'm gonna put it on it just like that it stops oxygen to go in and we know that fire needs oxygen to stay lit right okay and here we go it is out that's simple that's how we use candle snuffers that's simple. That simple. That simple. Hollow them out. Write an attention. Small piece of paper, then light it. Yes, that sounds good. Someone said that they use, they hollow the candle out, so they may take some out, take a piece of paper, like write what they want to accomplish from the candle, stick it inside the candle. That's a good, that's a good one. That is a good one. Thank you for sharing. I really, really love it. Okay. So next, we're we got three more areas. We got Cleansing, yoni care, and others. Cleansing, yoni care, and others. If y'all are ready to move on, if y'all are good with what we talked about, you understand spiritual waters, you understand incense and ho incense holders, oils, crystals, crystal sets, jewelry, um, candles. If you understand how to use those and you're ready to move on, just say ready. Give me some ready. And y'all can send me some hearts too. I know we in class, but send me some hearts on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. Y'all tap the screen and stuff and send me some hearts. But if y'all ready to move on, let me know. Tell me ready. Tell me ready. Let me know that y'all ready because if y'all don't let me know, I won't know. And then I'm going to thank y'all less. Okay. I see ready. Ready, 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 ready. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about in a second, we're going to talk about um, 
What I think I want to do is do keychains. How do we use keychains? What to do with the candle after you finish? Ask yourself. Everybody does something different. You're going to have to, the spiritual waters, you're going to have to um, watch the beginning when I finish it. You'll be able to watch it at the beginning. There, There's a replay available. Keychains is pretty simple. You cleanse them, set your intention. You can attach it to your wallet. You can attach it to your keys or you can carry it with you in your hand. It's that simple, right? Nothing to it but to actually just do it. We got singing bowls. How do we use a singing bowl? We can use a singing bowl to play for meditation. We can use it for relaxation. We want to be relaxed. We want to use it for healing. If we need some healing, if we need help with healing, right? And that's, those are some things. And you can use it at any moment. You can use it to cleanse also. I love to use singing bowls and sound healing to cleanse my home and cleanse my crystals. I'm going to show you how to play it. And then after I show you how to play it, I will um, play it a little while for y'all to get the benefit of it. This is a singing bowl. When you play a singing bowl, you never want your palms to touch. Let me show you. Do you hear that? You don't want your fingertips, not your palms. You don't want your fingertips to touch the singing bowl. It's not singing, right? You see that? There's a difference. You can sit this on the top of your pa the palm of your hand. Some people sit it right on their knee. They sit it like if this was their knee, they'll sit it on their knee. Some people sit it on the floor. It normally has a pillow cushion. Some people put it on a pillow cushion and play it. Some people hold it like this, right? And give it a tap. You do not want to come bang it because you will crack the singing bowl. Any small crack in a singing bowl will cause it to stop singing because the crack disrupts the vibration from going through so the vibration would not flow. So you could tap it to start. Normally, once you become familiar and um, aware of how to play a singing bowl, you no longer tap it. You don't want to tap it because it's precious, right? But you can tap it to start. To keep it going, you, play, you put enough pressure. You're not like holding it like this and trying to like go like that. What we're doing is we're going to tap it and we're going to put enough pressure on it to make it sing all the way through. Right? That's a light scene. That's how we're going to do it. Did y'all like that? How did that sound to you? What did that feel like? How did that make you feel? Very relaxed, sleepy, calming. Yes, that's why I say this can help with relax, especially if you're like maybe being um, experiencing anxiety at that moment. You could just and say if you can't get it to sing, you just tap it a few times. It still sings. You just don't want to bang it until you get familiar and comfortable with turning it. You could just tap it. Okay, that's the singing bowl. That is the singing bowl. We can use that for so many different um, things, but I love it for cleansing and meditation. Um, when it comes to ancestor money, how do you use it? So I will say you hold it. You say a prayer, right? I normally say something like to this is for all of my ancestors, both known and unknown. I thank you for everything that you have done. And I thank you for everything that you're going to do. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. And I fold it. You fold it. Fold it. You fold it how you want. I normally say fold and turn to the left, especially for the big one. I'm going to show you when it comes to the quadrillion note, you fold it, turn to the left. 
fold it in half again, turn to the left, fold it. That's what we're doing. Once we fold it, because we don't want the fire to just like catch everywhere, right? Once you fold it, you burn it. I'm not going to burn ancestor money on live. But once it's folded, it's folded, and you're going to take a flame, and you're going to burn it. It's going to catch fire, and it's going to burn. From the burning of the ancestor money, you can put it in a cauldron. You can put it in an old pot. You can put it in a grill. I got a big grill on my balcony, and that's what I burn my ancestor money in. I take the grill, the what is it called? The rack out. And I just put it in there as it burns, right? You want to make sure you practice fire safety when burning it, but you also want to make sure you pray and give homage and pay homage and respect to your ancestors before burning it. Um, I normally watch the flame. There is a YouTube video on my YouTube about ancestor money and it breaks it down even more. You can watch that. Um, and there's even a masterclass or so for vibes about ancestors. So with this, um, and with the, with the ashes, that's a question I get often what to do with the ashes. That is totally up to you. Totally up to you. You can throw them out. You can toss them out. Some people bury them. Some people, um, keep them and hold them for certain rituals and things like that. It's up to you. Okay. Yes. We carry ancestor money. Ancestor money is sold on soulfulvibesco.com. Soulfulvibesco.com. That's the ancestor money I use. My ancestors love it. And I bless the ancestor money and everything like that. So it's all good. It's all good. It's all gravy. Cleansing sticks is what we're going to do last. So be patient. We have yoni steams and yoni eggs. Yoni steams and yoni eggs. All right. Here we go. I'm going to probably do the yoni steam first. Yoni steam first. We already talked about benefits yesterday. If you want to learn more about the benefits, check out the yoni steam video. Um, if you need more help with Yoni knowledge, we have a Yoni masterclass at soulfulvibesco.com. Um, and that's another thing I did not mention yesterday, um, how to um, use. We have masterclasses. We have Yoni. We have chakra. We have um, cleansings. If you want to learn about anything at a beginner's level, they're really good. They I break it down very well because I'm a teacher at heart. So I don't confuse you. I just take you um, step, simple step by step. And we have Law of Attraction, Yoni, Mercury Retrograde. We have so many. So those master classes are available on soulfulvibesco.com. If you have a plant on your altar, dump the ashes in the earth so plant grow, money grow. Yeah, that's an option. That is an option. Uh, it's an option. I always tell people to use it how they find fit, right? Do what you want. So the Yoni steam, we understand, right? Two things we don't do. We do not use Yoni steams if we are pregnant. Not this particular yoni steam or any yoni steam for it. If you are pregnant, you don't use yoni steam because uh, some of the herbs are not good for people who are pregnant and they will induce um, labor. So no yoni steam. If you are on your menstrual, no yoni steaming. Some people have. I wouldn't advise it, but it is maybe okay, right? So if you're on your menstrual, you're not doing yoni steams. And if you have an IUD, I know some of our customers have IUDs and they use it and that's okay. That's fine, right? But I don't recommend it because we already know, right? How we do this? We take a handful because people have measuring things. And this is what it looks like. It smells amazing. Y'all should smell it. Smell. It's fresh herbs. Take a handful of it. Put it in a pot of water. How much water? Eyeball it. Eyeball it. Put it in a pot of water. Bring the pot of water to boil. Boil it. Let it boil for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Bring it to boil. Then I let mine steep. I turn it off. I put a cover on it. I let it steep for about 30 minutes. Then you can pour it in a bowl. What type of bowl? Sitz bath. S-I-T-Z-B-A-T-H is available on Amazon for like seven bucks. Six baths. You can have um, some people, as long as the plastic is BPA free. Do not use plastic with BPA. Make sure the plastic is BPA free. Um you can use a metal pot and sit over. You can sit like a, um, you can squat over. You can sit a, uh, like a piece of wood over it, a stool to sit on a pot. You can use like a, it's called an outdoor camper toilet. Um, and you can sit the pot underneath it and sit on the outdoor camper toilet. I have a video on YouTube called Yoni Steaming, how to Yoni Steam at home or something like that. I show you one, two, I think I show you two or three different ways you can yoni steam at home. So you got the camper toilet, or you can pour the mixture. Like put a bowl in your toilet, pour the mixture in the boil, 
in the bowl in a toilet. Sit over the toilet, cover yourself. Make sure you're covering yourself at all times because you want the steam to get uh, trapped in. Make sure the temperature is fine. Do not burn yourself, okay? Sit over it, cover yourself, drink water, make sure you're hydrating, relax, sit there for 30 minutes. After that, you can flush the stuff. Sometimes people take the um, mixture and rub it on them, take a bath in it, you know, put it in a bath water and take a bath with it or whatever. People do what they want with it. That is a quick rundown on how to use Yoni Steams. You can watch a full tutorial on my YouTube channel, Sunny Brooks, type in Yoni Steams, you'll find it, okay? Right, don't burn that cat now. Don't burn it. We got yoni eggs. How to use yoni eggs to cleanse the yoni eggs. Boil it in some water. Put the yoni egg in some water and boil it. It's not going to crack. It's not going to break. I promise. Boil it. You're going to take the egg. You take the string, silicone string. You don't want anything that's porous, non-porous, silicone string. And you're going to put it because our yoni eggs come with holes. It's drilled. You're going to take the silicone string and put it in the yoni egg like this. You see, we're going to take whatever we want to lather this up with. I say coconut oil. Coconut oil is normally safe. Some lube, something. Make this all nice, right? And easy to insert. You take it and then you insert it in your pupa, your vagina, right? You insert it in there. This is going to hang out. You can insert it however you want. This is going to hang out, which is fine, right? You just let it hang out like a tampon. You just pull it out when you're ready. It's not going to get stuck. If you don't care, you can put it up there and it's going to stay. Um, depending on how strong your muscles are, it'll stay up there and it'll come out when it's ready. Okay. Once you put it up there, you just wear it. Wear it throughout the day. What are some ways to gain strength from it? You can exercise with it in. Um, because you are exercising your pelvic floor um, when you're exercising, whether you know it or not. When you're doing yoga, that will be great. Kegels. When you're doing Kegels, Kegels is that same muscle you use to pee. Like if you were to stop yourself from peeing, like you're like, okay, I got to hold my pee. That same muscle. You can try it right now. I know half of y'all are trying it right now. It's fine. You can just squeeze it. That inside of you squeezing, that's a Kegel. And you hold it. Release. You do like 10 set of 10s throughout the day, right? It's your own little secret. That's how you use Yoni eggs. I have a whole video on Yoni eggs also on YouTube, okay? Last but not least, cleansing. We're talking about cleansing. How to use the feather. This is pretty simple. We fan it. We fan it like that. How to use, we use the, the feather to fan our sticks, right? Can you just go about your day with it? Yes. Once you put it in, you forget about it. Yeah. And then you really test if you've really been doing your Kegels and stuff, if you can pee and it doesn't come out. Okay. There's a little tip. You fan, you use this to fan it to stay lit. The uh, abalone shells, you use it for storage. You can use it for storage, right? If I have my crystals, I can put my crystals and my jewelry and put it in there like that and set it all cute on my altar and be cute like this, right? And I have it cute as a storage. I can put crystals in there. I can even put, this is a broken one, which is okay. But how I have some Palo Santo sticks in there, I can use this to store my different uh, cleansing sticks like that, right? Storage. You can use these for storage. You can also, okay, you can also use this to catch debris. I am going to show you what that looks like. When we light the Palo Santo in something, I'm going to show you, but when you hold it and you're saging or you're using stuff, you're going to go around your house like this or your apartment or wherever, and you're holding it over, you're holding it under the stick, but the stick is um, hovering over the abalone shell and you're going and you're doing this. This is how we do this, right? The sage, the Palo Santo, the cedar, and we're going through and we're doing our home like that. That's how we use the abalone shell. Abalone shells are important. I lost a lot of um, security deposits because we burned our carpet because we were just going in the house like and burning the carpet and shit. You know, you don't want to do that. And fire safety. I didn't care about fire safety, which is not a good thing. Okay. Um, and then Rosa Jericho. Now I'm going to talk about Rosa Jericho and then I'm going to show you how to use the sticks. Rosa Jericho. We're going to take Rosa Jericho and sit this part 
Look at this. These are the roots. We know what roots look like. These are the roots. We're just going to sit that in water. We're not going to submerge it in water unless we're trying to train it. We're going to just sit it in water. It's going to open up. If you go back to our story, go check our story. I showed y'all. I, for those who were with us yesterday, I showed y'all what Rose of Jericho look opened up. We're going to do that and we're going to allow it to open up. We're going to keep it in that water for a maximum three days, three days. And then we're going to take it out of the water. We're going to probably sit it on the towel and allow it to close back up. It will get mold on it if we keep it in that water long term. Once it closed back up and come back to this state, I can put it back in water three days, right? A lot of people like to take the Rose of Jericho water and mop their floor with it, make a bath out of it, um, wash their doorway with it, things like that. If we are trying to train it to submerge it underwater, it takes patience. So if we got a big bowl and we have it in there, every time it smells or it gets mucky, if it looks it looks like it's not clear, the water isn't clear and it gets smelly, you got to pour it out. Rinse the Rose of Jericho with really good with um with cold water. That was the brain fart. Wash it and cleanse it with cold water. Put it back. You're gonna have to keep doing that for some weeks until it adapts to being underwater. Um, do not put Florida water in your Rose of Jericho. Do not like say, oh, this it's nice. I want to add some money draw because it's good for money. Don't do that. You're gonna kill the Rose of Jericho. You don't want to kill it because it has a beautiful spirit. Now, the last thing is the sticks, right? All sticks pretty burn, like especially like cedar and stuff. You just use the lighter and you just burn it, right? I'm not going to burn that. I don't want to burn that. But I have sage, so I'm going to burn the sage. So I take sage and I just burn it like this. You want to make sure when you are burning sage, palo santo, or anything like that, you are opening up your windows and your doors. You need to give this stuff somewhere to go. You can use matches too. You don't have to use a lighter. You can use a torch. Torches are actually easier. Um, but you're giving something so this somewhere for this stuff to go and the good to come in. So you want to um, make sure that you open up the windows and doors. But you light it until it catch flame, right? We see this. I'm not going to light it too much. We see the smoke. And here we go. Remember? Remember our abalone shell. If I'm going around my house, I got it like this. And I'm fanning and I'm directing it and I'm fanning. And if it goes out, right, it ain't that hard. I light it again because I may have not um, lit it enough the first time. And I fanned it into the de desired areas that I want it to go. And I fan it, right? I do that. I do it like that. That's white sage. That's how you would do white sage, cedar, rosemary, mugwort, um, the, the sticks. When it comes to Palo Santo, I hear it all the time. They say, Sonny. Palo Santo is so hard to stay lit or I'm not doing it right. I'm going to show y'all one good time. You take the Palo Santo. Yes, I keep Palo Santos like they, they roaches, all right? Um, anybody, y'all know what roaches are. If y'all know, y'all know. Um, do you start in the back of your house? Yes, start in the back of your house. Yes. Um, if you know, you know. I keep a whole, they, I got a whole bunch of small ones, right? So we take it. Do you, are you supposed to loosen the string? You can, yes. So that's a good point. Thank you for bringing that up. So with the sage, this is a pretty thick bundle. If I find that it's not burning, you can kind of see my strings are loosened. Uh, Instagram, y'all ending. Um, if y'all see that this is not, you see, okay, you loosen it up and you break it apart because it is easier to burn some of them rather than all of it. So you can loosen it up if it burns. I mean, if it's not burning good enough. Okay, so you want to make sure that you loosen it up if you feel like it's not burning um, because this one is packed. So I may take some of the leaves out and take it and split it down and burn it like that because it's going to burn better. Right. Palo Santo Instagram. Y'all ended. I'm going to start it over one last time. All right, we're going to let them. YouTube, Facebook, y'all good? Are y'all lost? Y'all still following me? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, YouTube, Facebook, are y'all good? 
Let me know. Or am I confusing y'all? Y'all got it? Y'all got it? I'm looking for my, my shoe. All right. So, Palo Santo. We got Palo Santo. What we do with Palo Santo is we hold it there. We don't just be like this. It ain't lighting. Oh, it ain't steak. We're going to have to hold it. It's wood, man. It's, it's wood. We're talking about wood ver versus herbs. So herbs will kind of burn. It is herbs, right? Wood is going to take quicker. I mean, it's going to take a little longer. So we're going to hold it like this. And we're going to hold it just for a moment. And we're going to hold it. You see that nice big flame? Our Palo Santo burns like this. I can't tell y'all if the Palo Santo from Sephora burns like this. No shade. I'm just saying. Good quality Palo Santo. You see that? And it burns. You hold it. And you can start saging like this. I mean, start cleansing your home like this. Or you can do this to put it out. There go it. You see that? You see that smoke? You see it? And remember, fire safety. So we're going around our house. And we're doing this. And I'm going to send some, some good Palo Santo Yahweh. I'm going to send it Yahweh. Okay? It's good vibes. Palo Santo. Here we go. It's that simple. It is that simple. And Palo Santo is probably going to go out in about a minute. We see those ashes. You see it turns white. We do this. And we get that fire back. What if you don't own a feather? I would suggest everyone own a feather. We have feathers. We sell them on our site. They're like four bucks. Four bucks. And you only need one. You don't need to get a whole bunch of them. You got one? That's cool. Soulfulvibesco.com. But you see this? And you blow. You see as I blow, it stay lit a little longer. Say it went out. I just light it back again until catch fire. I want to put these out. If I want to put this or any sage or any seed or anything, I want to put this out. You're going to do it like a cigarette or a blunt or whatever. And you're just going to go ahead and do it like this in the abalone shell. You're just going to go ahead and do like, rub it out like that. Ta-da. That is how you use sage, palo santo, and things of that nature. Make sure if you have any questions that you join tomorrow, any questions? So I want y'all to get off tonight. Tomorrow, we're back 7.30. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. I love you, too. Do you need to clean a shell? You can, but mine has so much debris. This ain't even the one I use all the time. Mine has so much debris, but you can cleanse it. You can. You can. Um, but tomorrow, I want y'all to get off, and I want y'all to write all the questions y'all have down. All of them. I am going to try my hardest to answer all of them tomorrow. We're coming here tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The quicker you log on, you might want to turn on notifications on. Turn the notification on because the quicker you log on, the quicker your questions will be answered. I suggest that you get in a chat as soon as you talk, start. You get in a chat and you start putting your questions there. Put your questions there. Questions about products. Do not ask me no deep life questions like my ex-boyfriend left me and his mama still stay with me and I don't have a car and I wanted to know what you think I should do. Like, I, listen, I, I can give you advice, but tomorrow is so much for the products. I want to help you. If you got, if you need recommendations, now that's different. If you say, hey, Sonny, I'm going through a hard patch and my mama getting on my nerves and I'm about to slap the shit out my daddy, what you think I need? That's what you come here with. And I'm like, you know what? This is the products I think. So I'm giving you product suggestions tomorrow. I'm answering all of your questions. I am telling you whatever you need to know when it comes to spirituality, metaphysics, and this all good juju shit, I'm helping you out. I'm helping you out. I'm going to help you out. So we're going to come here tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to answer y'all questions, y'all. I'm going to answer y'all questions. I am going to answer your questions. So when you get in, I'm giving you a tip because I'm going to start from the top answering questions. That's what I'm going to do. I may have to put a cut out, but that's what I'm going to do. At the top, I'm going to start. I'm going to scroll all the way back to the top, and I'm going to answer all those questions. Okay? I'm going to answer those. Okay? Like recommendations to attract love. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So I will be helping y'all with that. So make sure... Um, 
this juju shit. Thank you. Thank you. I'm all about the juju and the spiritual world, okay? So make sure y'all join tomorrow. Think about some questions when you log off. Stuff that I made, showed y'all yesterday and told y'all benefits. You're like, damn, but she ain't touch on this. Write that down. Today, you're like, okay, she showed me how to use this, but I really want to know how to use this for this. Write that down. Questions, suggestions, anything. Write it down. Don't forget to um, subscribe to our email list. Where's the puppy? He's out there. Um, to su subscribe to our email list so you can get first dibs on our Black Friday things. Remember, I told you I have some special things coming like the money draw, the money roller oil, the self-love roller oil. Um, I'm telling you now, they will only be about 15 bucks. They won't be expensive at all. 15 bucks for the big pump. I may charge like 30, 35 bucks. I handmade it. I put all my juju and all of my good intentions into it. Um, but they're only 35 um, monies and there's only 23 of the self-love. So they're going to go quick. So if you subscribe to our email list, how do you subscribe to our email list? Click the link in our bio and you're going to see something that says subscribe to email list. Subscribe to the email list and I'm going to be sure to send out that email Black Friday and they will get first tips. Um <laughs> um court in the law you gonna have to log on tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna talk about tomorrow um so yes subscribe y'all can follow my personal page at i am sunny brooks i a m s u n n y b r o o k s i have um all of my good things over there i'm active over there and i just launched my I Choose Me program, which is a five-week group coaching program that takes you from healing your past, living in the present, and manifesting your future. If you need help with healing and manifesting, that's the course for you. So go, and it's 50% off for this month. So that's my shameless plug. So go to my page at I am Sunny Brooks, okay? And if nobody told y'all today, guess what? I fucking love y'all. Bye. I'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>